Have you ever tried to reach lift support to actually talk to a human being? It can be very, very frustrating. In this video, I'm going to share with you three ways that you can um, through the app, through the website, and then stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you an actual phone number that you can call and get right through to somebody at Lyft to help you with your issues. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. And today we're going to be talking about Lyft and getting through to Lyft support. Now with Uber, it's really, really simple. As you can see right here uh, on the app, you just click in the, in the upper left-hand corner of the home screen. Then you're going to click on help. And then you see it says call support. So that, <laughs> that's great. Um, but if you drive for Lyft and you got an issue, it's not so simple. So let's break down the three different ways you can reach Lyft support. So number one, you can reach Lyft support through the app. So let's look at the screenshots here. And as you can see, uh, you start with the home screen, you click on your little picture, then you go to help. And when you go to help, you're gonna have a lot of different options, all right? So what I uh, was, uh, the scenario I thought of was, what if I have a question about this 14 day uh, sick pay? So I went to earnings and bonus, and I, then I clicked on, I'm missing earnings. And then under missing earnings, I clicked on other, and then that brought me to the magical place where I can hit contact us. And then what you see once I hit contact us, it says, how should we reach you? And the only option you have is message. So you would then uh, click there and you could leave a message. So uh, when you're working through the app, um, it's very difficult uh, because there's, there's so many different options. And what I found in general is if you get click other, um, you're going to get to a place where you can actually type something in. Otherwise, they're going to keep referring you to different articles and, and, and solutions because they're trying to filter out the people that don't really need to actually communicate with them. They're trying to provide as many answers as they can so that you don't need to reach out to them and use their, um, their manpower. Now, the second way you can reach uh, Lyft is through their website. And again, it's a little bit difficult because a lot of times you're going to click, click, and they're going to they're going to give you what they think is the answer and you're not going to have an opportunity to communicate with them. But let's look at what's available on the website. So what you see here is your, uh, you know, your dashboard. And what you're going to do here is at the bottom, you see where it says help. You're going to click help. Now you can try and type in what you got, what you want to ask about 14 day sick pay, but they don't have anything on the website about that. If you scroll down to the bottom, then you're going to contact, support so you're always looking for that pink contact support and then it says how can we help you subject and what do you want to help with so I put in sick pay and then uh, clicked on I'm a driver and then under sick pay I then clicked on uh, earnings and bonus all right and then that took me to this page where it said uh, my bonuses all right and then from there it said uh, other, so there's other. So again, I clicked on other, and that took me to this screen where I could actually type in a message. Sick pay, well, what do you need help with? Other, and here it says description, and that's where you could type in your description. So again, you're not gonna be talking to anybody, but um, you, know, you, can, you can actually type a little note and, and get them to respond to you uh, via email. So number three is you can call this phone number, which you're now seeing on the screen, 844-313-3677. And I'm gonna show you right now that this number actually works and goes through directly to Lyft. Now, you know, I'm not gonna give you the phone number without showing you that it works. So let's dial in right now, 844-313-3667. You have reached Lyft's driver support line. For passenger support, please dial 1. If you are ready to speak to driver support, dial 2. To report a safety incident, dial 3. To report an accident, dial 4. So the key takeaways, with a little persistence, you can get through to Lyft. Um, the best way, I think, is just to call them. Uh, it's always good to talk to somebody. Um, I have found that if I really have a challenge, the best thing for me to do is to go to a hub. And I've done that several times where I'll just go to the hub. I can actually see somebody. They can look something up. If I have a question, I can ask it. They can type it in and look, look, at, look up the answer for you. And they've actually been really, really great.
So while it's a, a bit of a challenge and it's not quite as easy as it is with Uber, um, you can get help. It may not be as immediate as you like, but, uh, but you got a phone number and you can certainly call and actually talk to somebody. Hey, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. This is Jay Crater saying uh, it was, uh, thank you for your time. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the team. Y'all go out and have a great day and be safe out there.